I want my Iosian's eyes to really stand out. So I'm going to start off by painting the eye socket area black. I'm then going to pick my eye out with a little speck of white. Let's take a look at the finished result. Okay, he's looking pretty sweet now. He looks like one angry elf ready to grace any battlefield. I'm just going to pick out a few other things to show you. We've looked at uh, some contrast shading and a little bit of tonal variation. Now I'm going to take a look at painting female skin and the difference between that and male skin. Also a little thing about mouths and some extra effects that you might want to consider. So for that we're going to need my other models. So here's my Arcanist. As you can see, I've used some of the techniques I've discussed. In case they're not clear, I'll point them out. I highlighted his cheeks so that he's got bright highlights next to a deep, deep shadow running between the crease, uh, between the edge of the nose and the upper, upper lip. It's called a nasolabial fold. And with the area below the nose that leads down to the upper lip, I highlighted it so that it's his brightest point just before the dark brown line of the lip which I put on there. Then after highlighting the lower lip I put a little wash of red over the top to give that lip some tonal variation and bring out a bit of colour there. Um, as a side note with mouths you always want to have the upper lip in shadow and the lower lip to have the highlight. The reason being when you see a face in profile you can see that the lower lip leans inward and so doesn't catch the light, sorry the upper lip leans inward, my apologies, and doesn't catch the light, whereas the lower lip does catch the light. You can see that in a couple of examples here. So to finish this guy off and get his rough and tumble look, I'm going to give him a little bit of stubble to add a bit more tonal variation to the face, which is a blue-grey colour. So let's take a look at how I'm going to do that. Okay, I've got a colour here that's equal parts XR Blue, Elf Flesh, and then a little spot of black to darken it down. What I want to do to that is add a single spot of mixing medium. and a touch of water. Okay, This gives me this bluey grey paint mix and what I'm going to do there is just apply that as a wash around the areas where I want the stubble to be and then just lift it back off his lips slightly because I don't want it to be so prominent there. Now again, this is a subtle effect. Feed it into the shadow slightly. And I'm going to allow that to dry. Along with the focus problem from the paints. Again, okay, there we go. And we'll take a look at that on the high res when it has fully dried. Okay, so here's the high res image, and you can see we've got just a hint of stubble from the bluey grey colour with a bit of tonal variation adding to the interest of the skin. On a final note, here's my female Mage Hunter Assassin, and you can see the same techniques have been used. But the overall contrast between the uh, deep shading and the bright highlights is kept much more subtle to give a more feminine, smooth tone. And uh, she really also emphasises the idea of the lip. 
uh, the upper lip being shaded and the bottom lip being highlighted. I'm just going to bring in the Arcanist just so you can see the difference in the level of contrast between shadows and highlights. So we've got my craggy Arcanist on one side and my much more smooth skinned Mage Hunter Assassin on the other. And uh, there we go. One last thing I want to show you, we were talking about skin tonal variations. I'm going to bring in one of my trolls to show you an extreme version of tonal variation now. And here he is. Yep, he's got a pink chin and he's got a pink chest. But the tonal variation techniques and the idea of contrast shading is kept exactly the same. I'm going to bring in one more troll because I like the way the contrast shading works on his arms to show you. Just to show that this works on bodies and also with different palette. Here he is. This is my fen blade. And you can see here deep shadows with strong highlights on either side of them. A deep shadow with a strong highlight. Strong highlights pulling out deep shadows here. The same on his face. If I turn him round, you can see here his deep shadow is highlighted up. There's our strongest highlight right next to a deep crease shadow again. And the same around here using the contrast shading technique to produce skin that really jumps off the battlefield. So that's a wrap on my painting faces tutorial. I hope there's some things you'll find useful in there and I hope that you've recognised from what I've done that it's more about the theory and understanding where to apply the highlights and shading rather than watching me paint on layers and layers of colour. It's about thinking about the planes of the faces and the way the contrasts are going to work and where you want to include variation of tone on your skin. I hope that there are things in here that you found useful. Thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and good luck with your painting.